hello everyone welcome to my channel in this video i'm going to discuss a graph based concepts on the topic heat and thermodynamics so first graph we are going to see is the vt graph the volume temperature graph so we have the ideal gas equation pv is equal to nrt okay P is the pressure, V is the volume, N is the number of moles, R is the universal gas constant and T is the temperature. Now for VT graph is the relation between volume and temperature. So this equation can be written as V is equal to NR by P into T. Now if uh, pressure is constant, if pressure is kept constant then such thermodynamic processes are called isobaric process isobaric process so in this equation n is number of moles r is universal gas constant so if number of moles is constant r is already a constant if pressure is also kept constant then this entire term is a constant this is a constant and let it be equal to k okay so that i can write this equation as v is equal to k into t okay now this equation is of the form y is equal to mx plus c now if you compare it so that if v is y t is along x axis intercept is c is intercept so here it is 0. So that means if we draw a Vt graph, this is volume, T temperature and remember in the equation PV is equal to nRT, ideal gas equation, T is, if T is in Kelvin, so this is straight line with slope K, so this is the straight line. It will pass through origin because intercept is 0. This is this is theta. So tan theta is the slope and this tan theta will be equal to nr by p. nr by p. Okay. So this is the slope. Okay. So now suppose we have a graph vt graph see this for this line pressure is constant so this is an isobar okay so now suppose we have two isobars okay so if you have a vt graph and the t is in kelvin the line you have a straight line graph and the, if the straight line is passing through origin, that means that straight line represents an isobar. For that particular straight line, pressure is constant. But in this case, we have two different straight lines. So that means for these two lines, the pressures are different. For Say for this line, the pressure is P1. For this, the pressure is P2. Now, as you can see, slope is equal slope is slope is inversely proportional to p the slope is inversely proportional to p now as you can see slope of this line is less than slope of this line so smaller the slope greater the pressure so that means p2 is greater than p1 p2 is greater than p1 okay so this is how you can compare the pressure okay now suppose in the relation V is equal to KT this temperature is in Kelvin scale now suppose this temperature is in degree Celsius okay so in that case you can write this as V is equal to K T in degree Celsius plus 273 so that is v is equal to k t 
थ्री डिग्री सेल्सियस प्लस के टाइम्स टू सेवेंटी थ्री नाउ दिस इज ऑफ द फॉर्म वाई इज इक्वल टू एम एक्स प्लस सी सो नाउ दिस इज द इंटरसेप्ट इंटरसेप्ट इज नॉट जीरो नाउ सो दैट मीन्स यू विल हैव वी टी ग्राफ विल हैव स्ट्रेट लाइन इट विल नॉट पास थ्रू ओरिजिन नाउ इट विल हैव ए वाइड इंटरसेप्ट एंड दिस इज द इंटरसेप्ट प्रोवाइडेड दिस टेम्परेचर इज इन डिग्री सेल्सियस सो इफ यू हैव ए वी टी ग्राफ एंड यू हैव स्ट्रेट लाइन एंड द स्ट्रेट लाइन इज पासिंग थ्रू ओरिजिन दैट मीन्स दैट दैट स्ट्रेट लाइन द प्रेशर इज कॉन्स्टेंट सो इट इज आई सो बार इन केस द टेम्परेचर इज इन डिग्री सेल्सियस then you will get a straight line but this straight line will not pass through origin it will have a y intercept so this is the y intercept okay now third case let us see what happens if you have a vt graph t is in kelvin but suppose you have a straight line which is not passing through origin okay so if t is in kelvin the straight line is passing through origin that for that straight line pressure is constant but in this case the straight you have a straight line but it is not passing through origin now let's see what happens what is the nature of pressure now let us consider two points this is some point a this is some point b on this straight line okay now so for this particular point temperature is ta for this particular point temperature is tb okay now this is a straight line with an intercept along volume axis along the volume axis so this is i can write this equation for the straight line as v is equal to at plus b where a is the slope of the straight line and b is the intercept this is b okay now this equation can be written as v by t is equal to a plus b by t okay now for these two points corresponding to these two points i can write this equation as va by ta is equal to a plus b by T A. This is corresponding to point A. Corresponding to point B, V B by T B is equal to A plus B by T B. Now, as you can see, T B is greater than T A. Now, if T B is greater than T A, that means B by T B is less than B by T A. So that implies V B by T B, V B by T B. is less than va by t correct okay now in the equation pv is equal to nrt v by t represents nr by t okay so that means v by t ratio it is inversely proportional to p okay so that implies pb will be greater than pa that means along this straight line pressure is not constant pressure is increasing as we move from a to b okay pressure at point b will be greater than pressure at point a okay so these are few concepts based on vt graph